Okay, hey guys, good morning. It's like 5.10 right now. My throat is dry. Anyways, I'm gonna be showing you guys my makeup routine for in the morning for school. First, I use this C Glow Toner. I already use just a cleanser on my face, but that's all. And then I take the Savino Daily Moisturizing Face Cream. Put that on. I'm so sorry about like my stopped up nose. Nothing I can do, but it always does that in the morning. I low-key think I'm allergic to dogs because like it's kind of hard to breathe in the mornings. <laughs> like I'm like that. So maybe I'm allergic to my dogs because I sleep right next to them at night. My face gets all puffy and stuff like my eyes. I low-key think I'm allergic to dogs now that I'm thinking about it. Now I'm putting this serum on my face. I'll look at what it's called in a second. It is the vitamin C something <laughs> I got it at TJ Maxx I don't the sticker is covering it my face is so poofy right now like it's round This is ridiculous. There's a pimple on the inside of my nose. Ow. Okay, so like the most important step is sunscreen. Now I use this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Then I take this Infallible Pro Glow Foundation by L'Oreal. This one's in the color Creamy Natural. And I just put a tiny bit of it on my face. I take my finger. I don't blend it in with my finger, but I take my finger and like even it out. Take my sponge and I actually like I mainly just use it because my face is so much paler than the rest of my body. So it almost like evens it out. Then I take the e.l.f. camouflage hydrating concealer and put a tiny bit. And I blend that out with a brush just because I feel like I can control it better than a sponge. So I'm like blending it upwards and also going on my eye a bit. Alrighty, so I put a setting powder on and now I'm going to take this setting spray just by e.l.f. I take bronzer on like a brighter brush and I put it above like the natural contour and I pat it. I don't like brush it. I just pat it on. And I take this palette by Cover Effects. It has this darker like contour in it. And I take very little of it and just lightly place it. Then I take this like fine brush, 
take that darker shade go under the lip and then I do the nose so I don't do that to like change the shape of my nose I do it just to give it some definition because I put foundation and concealer on it so it kind of blended in with my face and you don't want that then I take the blush that's in here and take like a pointed brush like this and just dab it really high up on my cheekbones like this taking some of it and also going on the bridge of my nose and some like right here on my forehead good looks crazy right now I promise it yes, I promise it won't look crazy later then some highlighter the tip of my nose right here the bridge cupid's bow basically everywhere you would normally put a highlighter do a little bit on my face i just accidentally highlighted my pimple great now it's time for eyebrows this is what brings my look together i genuinely look really quite crazy until i get my eyebrows and a little bit of eyeshadow on so this is the billion dollar brow eyebrow pencil and i shaved off the edge of my eyebrows so i could do this i kind of wing my eyebrows straight out like that. I feel that it fits my face a bit more. This one's definitely turned out better, but it's okay. They're definitely not even close to even. They're really big. Oh, oopsies. I just smushed the tip off of my pencil. I use the exact colors that I used on my face if I'm going for a natural look. So I just take this like brush, go into the bronzer, the lightest one first and I go like all over my eye. And this will bring some like shape and definition back into my eye just because I put concealer on my eyelids so it was looking crazy and bright compared to the rest of my face. Now I take this palette and I take the blush color on the same brush because I'm not doing this very detailed kind of just slapping it on there to get some color I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't hear that and putting it on my kind of the same area I used the first bronzer now I'm taking like this denser brush and putting the dark contour shade in. And that's kind of it for the eyeshadow. I take my original brush and kind of blend it all together. Now I take my highlighter again and pour it in the inner corners. Okay. 
Now I'm just gonna do mascara off camera and I'll be so I've added the mascara and I'm going to take a really dark brown in black, mix it together on this brush, put it at like the tail end of my eye like this. Naturally, it for my makeup. I'm gonna do one last spritz of setting spray. That way, I can go in and kind of blend everything together that took me like an hour usually this only takes me 15 20 minutes tops but when i'm talking i take so much longer and then my hair today it was nice and curly yesterday and nice and now it looks like this so bam and here is the finished makeup look I do this every day for school. Like I said, it usually only takes like 20 minutes, but I took forever today, but it's okay. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next week for a new video. If you like the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.